If dinosaurs actually existed, wouldn't their bones be everywhere? Well guys, I'm happy today, because I have once again discovered a new TikTok conspiracy theorist who is going to make me feel smarter and better about myself. And there's not much more a man can ask for. So the other day, I came across this TikTok that I'm sure many of you have already seen at this point, where this woman is questioning the existence of dinosaurs because, uh, she's never found a dinosaur bone in the wild. Now you might be wondering, so what does she think that paleontologists do, and what does she think are in museums? Well, considering the fact that she thinks a fossil is is a bone. I don't think she even knows what the word paleontologist means. But normally when people are this insane, they just think the fossils are fake. They think that dinosaurs never existed, that it's just one big government conspiracy because uh, somehow the government benefits from us thinking dinosaurs existed, I guess. But no, she believes that these quote bones are real. She just thinks they belong to giant humans and that dinosaurs were thought up to trick us into thinking that giant humans never existed. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a thought. Let's begin no, please subscribe if dinosaurs actually existed wouldn't their bones be everywhere let's all put our critical thinking skills to the test this morning so why is it that the average joe has never dug them up like why haven't you or i or anyone we know ever found a bone all right, Miss Queen of Everything 0003, great name, by the way. I'm going to ask you to take the phrase critical thinking skills out of your vocabulary because uh, clearly you don't know what that means. Ma'am, have you ever found the bone of a squirrel? The bone of, I don't know, a raccoon, a bear, a deer? Because I haven't. I've never gone looking for them. Does that mean those things don't exist? Hey, I've never found a human bone either, but I think we exist, right? This is one of, if not the worst argument for anything I've ever heard, especially when when you consider that average people who weren't looking for them actually have found fossils before. This kind of person is my least favorite kind of person ever. The kind of person who thinks that as long as they say it, it's automatically true. And another thing, bones can completely decay within 20 years. But these people are finding fossils that are intact, that still have teeth attached. Um, 76 million years ago. Let me jump in here real quick. Um, so real quick question about your name. Is it like shorthand is the full thing queen of not knowing everything because um, you're really not making yourself look good here. Um, most people learn about fossils in third grade. I don't know if you skipped that one or something, but uh, fossils are not bone. I'm not going to sit here and explain fossils because I'm assuming everyone watching this video passed third grade. But as we all know, fossils are essentially like a casting of a bone from the mold that a bone created. Over time, minerals enter this mold that has been left behind. They crystallize and turn into basically just a dinosaur bone-shaped rock. So no, people aren't finding bones that are 78 million years old. They're essentially finding what are the casts of bones. You'd think before you made this unbelievably bold claim on the internet for all to respond to, you would at least try and understand the base concepts of what you're talking about. And if you're watching this video and have found a dinosaur bone, I would love to hear it. I'd love to hear the story. Message me. I honestly believe they put these creatures in front of us and made us believe it because of this. After all, all of our fallen ancestors have always talked about the Nephilim. All right, so after hearing this, I googled what the Nephilim is, and it's a biblical thing. Apparently, mysterious beings or people in the Hebrew Bible who are described as being large and strong. Now, people who argue based off religious concepts that can't really be proven or disproven are not very fun to argue with, but I'm going to try to respond to this anyways. My main question is why would anybody feel the need to do this? Furthermore, why would they go with dinosaurs? I mean, seriously, walk with me here for a second as I pretend to be a person who believes in this and just see how absurd this sounds. All right, so based off this 400 years ago when people started finding the first dinosaur bones, all the elites got together and were like, look, people are starting to find the giant bones of these people we don't want anybody to know about. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to destroy any of the writing that talks about these people. You know, we're not going to do anything to silence people talking about these people existing. We're going to say that it was giant lizards that used to roam the earth. People will buy that, right? I mean, seriously, one of the main 
reasons all this started is because the first person to find a fossil just thought it was a giant human. And as we got smarter, we were like, no, this is a whole different thing. I mean, seriously, explain to me how the existence of giant humans and people not knowing about that and thinking instead that it was just dinosaurs benefits anyone whatsoever. The absurd idea here, though, is that there is some sort of attack on religious ideology since the Nephilim are people who are mentioned in the Bible and that the government or the elites of the world want to silence this because it's based or rooted in something involving religion, which is absolutely insane to me and I don't understand how these people get up and tie their shoes in the morning. Now, I'm not talking about religious people as a whole, do not get me wrong, but people like this specifically who think that there's some sort of giant secret attack on religion worldwide. I don't know if you guys have seen the state of the US government recently. There's supposed to be a separation of church and state, but there's not. Most political candidates these days on both sides still run on at least a religion influenced platform. And I promise you 400 years ago, there was less separation than there was today. 84% of the planet is religious. Who is launching this attack to hide the existence of giant humans just because it's mentioned in the Bible? Seriously, how do you believe this stuff? I promise you Joe Biden is not sitting in the White House like, okay, how's Project Nephilim going this year, boys? Have we planted enough dinosaur bones yet? Have we met our quota? And if the meteor thing truly happened, if something of that magnitude was to hit Earth, it'd be something like 10,000 nuclear bombs going off. How didn't everything get obliterated? There wouldn't be anything left, let alone bones. When people have this much of a flawed understanding of how things work and like the facts that we know, it's almost pointless to respond to the things they say because you'd have to dissect so much that it's like trying to teach somebody about a subject from the ground up. So first off, uh, the asteroid did kind of obliterate everything. That's why not a whole lot is left over from that time period on Earth. But you have to keep in mind the size of the asteroid, while giant, I think it was six miles wide is what we think right now. That's nothing compared to the size of the Earth. So yes, while if you combine the size of that asteroid plus the speed it was traveling and you chuck it at the Earth, it's going to cause some insane damage. Most of the damage is not going to come from the actual impact of that asteroid. If you were in the general vicinity of the asteroid, yeah, you're gonna get turned into goo. I think the impact crater was like 110 miles wide or something like that. It's insane. But again, as majority of us learned in elementary school, what killed the dinosaurs was the climate change that was brought on from the impact of the asteroid. It wasn't the actual impact of the asteroid that killed them all. So yeah, if you go to the actual impact site and you were to try to find fossils, I wouldn't be that surprised necessarily if you couldn't find that many. But it's not like an Earth-sized asteroid hit the Earth and just blew up everything and made us start from the beginning. Beginning. Most of the Earth's surface was fine. It's not like the impact of this asteroid shaved off the Earth's surface and just took us back to the core. It's what was going on above the surface and with the climate that was so devastating. I feel like this is a pretty easy concept to understand and should not cause that much confusion on why fossils still exist. It's easy to connect the dots once your eyes are open. It's just another thing they made up to keep us from the truth. Truth is... Giants existed. All right, again, if you're going to make a crazy claim like this, you've got to give me something to explain why you believe this. If you want to ignore the hundreds of years that have gone into explaining how, why, and when dinosaurs existed, go for it. I don't care. It's not like if you believe in dinosaurs or not really means that much to me. But if you're going to extend that to say that the government doesn't want you to know that giant humans existed, and that's why they've tricked you into thinking that dinosaurs existed, you owe me an explanation. I'm going to ask it again. What benefit does the government receive from keeping the existence of giant humans hush-hush? And how in the world have we managed to get every single government and elite to all come together for the first time in human history to hide the existence of these giant humans behind the lie of dinosaurs? Because if we could make that happen again for a few other policies not involving giant humans, I'm all ears. I mean, seriously, I think that's the most unrealistic part about this entire theory, that we somehow got every single single civilization's leadership on the planet to agree on something. Well guys, what do you think? Are dinosaurs just another one of the government's conspiracies? Have we once again been fooled by the scary elites? Is Ross Geller actually a government agent? These are the real questions we should be asking our leaders. Forget about taxes, this is what we need to know. If you're of the camp of Miss Queen of Everything 0003 and you also don't believe in dinosaurs, I would apologize for kind of giving you the smackdown during this video, but uh, that would be insincere. Pick up a book. If you enjoy 
enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.